Okay, guys, this is the British Open 2022 final. Some usual suspects, Camden Riviere and Rob Fay. Commentating with me, I'm Ben Ronaldson, the head pro here at Queen's. Is former number, number one in the world, Lachlan Duca, who's won this British Open how many times here at Queen's? Oh, I put you on the spot. I, I needed notice of the question. Yeah. Sorry. Good evening, everybody. Uh, but Lockie certainly won here a fair number of times. Six. Uh, and was Rob's nemesis for a little while, actually, was before, before Rob no. took over. No. That's not how I remember it. <laughs> so Lachlan was the best player in, in the world for a good period of time. Never quite won the world championships, but would have won anywhere else but New York, apparently, wow. um, <laughs> against Wayne Davies. One, one of them was 7-6, but I was told four years ago not to talk about that again. <laughs> yes, oh well, it's a long time ago now. I am not even the best player in my family. Who is the uh, Australian cricketer who said that? It was one of the two brothers. Mark. No, well, it was the Wars, wasn't it? it, the wars, it was, somebody right. said that to yeah, Mark Ward, that at least I'm the best player in my family. So let's talk about this matchup. We have Rob Fay, who was the dominant player in this game for decades. And then yes. we have Camden, who has quite easily been the dominant player in the last 10 years. In fact, he hasn't lost a match in open play since January 2013 for the ones that he's shown up for, which is the vast majority of them. What he did lose was the World Championships here in 2018 in an absolutely unbelievable match where Rob came back and won 7-5. At that yes. point, Camden hadn't actually beaten Robert Queens, but then in 2019, Cam came back to win the British Open and beat Rob in that one. So just the one win against Robert Queens. They played remarkably few times, actually, in the British Open. So how do you see it tonight, Ben? Well, I suppose we could talk about injuries first. For those of you tuned in last night, there was an epic battle between Tim Chisholm and Bryn Sayers, who played against Nicky Howell and Rob Fay. Rob and Nicky were 6-2, 6-2 up, and then Bryn and Tim went on to win 6-5, 6-1, 6-3. It was a three hour, three hour and 15 minute match, and Rob is ever so slightly nursing an Achilles injury so he's limping a little but during the rallies yeah it's remarkably fast i imagine it'll be limping between points rather than during points exactly it's the john ward syndrome <laughs> this is rob last open singles match uh, he has officially retired from singles at the end of this year. He's got a few National League matches lined up early next year and might turn up the Secret Silver Racket, but in terms of open play, he's called it. Now, I'm calling that if someone produces half a million next year, he'll be back out here. <laughs> Mate, if half a million, I'll be back out yeah, here next yeah. year. Your handicap is probably still good enough. That'll actually. be like, it'll be like live goal. Well, he's looking pretty good out there for a man of his age, I have to say. Yeah, so Rob is 54 years old. It's ridiculous. And Camden is 35. And despite that, is only a... How long goes the World Championships? A month and a half? Uh, September, so, yeah. A couple of months. Yeah. They had an absolutely ding-dong battle there. Yeah. Near coin again. Rob managing to win three... Crucial 6-5 sets really to keep the match alive at various different points. But only lost 7-5 in the end. Yeah, 7-5. For a match that was predicted to be more one-sided, I think, by most people. Well, I mean, Camden has only lost five games max against anyone coming up to this. If we look at what's happened, Camden managed to beat... Oh, I'm trying to remember who he beat in the semis now. Uh, Nicky. Nicky Howell. And lost only five games, I believe. And Rob beat John Lumley in straight sets, 3-3 three, three and 4. Uh, revenge for last year, when John managed to claim his first British Open win. Beating Rob in the semis in straight sets. 
Yes. Now, not to take away from John's win, Rob had just had his hip operation, but he's looking pretty good now. And uh, I've got to say, for someone who lost to John in the semis in straight sets, uh, in, the, in the doubles final, you know, only a few days later, Rob was actually on fire. So, you know. Indeed. Who's, my, who's marking this one this evening? This would be Drew and Lyons. He's marked Andrew every Lyons match again. for the last 50 years here. Yep. Former head pro of Queens, now the head pro at Seacourt. There he is. First view of that head shiny little head. The evening, yeah. Hamden is getting married in two weeks to Julia. Who I'm sure is watching right now. Is she here? She's not here. She turned up to the World Championships. You could hear her squeak between every point. <laughs> well, hello, Julia. Good luck to your man. A toss of the coin. So yesterday, that match went to five sets. Camden loved every second of it. He was hoping for a five-setter. The, the doubles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pay to serve. What do you expect him to bring out for serving? Mostly railroads? Uh, well, if you look at what happened in 2018, Rob goes through patches of working out when the railroad's good or not. He's very, yeah. he's been impressive over the years of working out how much to move the ball. At one point in 2018, he was standing as far up as worse than five and serving first bounce has a second to get a really deep one against yeah. Camden. Um, so I'm sure he'll certainly be experimenting with it this evening to find out how much the balls are moving at this stage of their age. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. Take your seat, thank you. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Queen's Club for the final of the British Open 2022, sponsored by the Riplap Foundation. Please welcome Mr. John Riplap. <laughs> long-term sponsor and supporter of the game. Before I introduce the players, can I please ask you to switch off your mobile phones? No flash photography, and please keep still during play. Thank you. Introducing the players at the service end, please welcome professional from the Origin School, number two seed, Rob Fay. <laughs> Current singles world champion from the United States of America, his name is Camden Riviere. <laughs> this match is the best of five, six game sets. Players are ready. First game, level. Here we go. Affection. Love the early parts of the match. Everybody's just finding their way. Fifteen all. Wonder if we'll start dropping that ball. 
little bit shorter to make him take it on the backhand. Fairly relentless in his retrieving, though, puts a lot of pressure on you. Chase, Nice. Yeah. Cam, you're wondering about that, Chase. <laughs> so, um, I mean, Camden's ability to rip a double handed backhand cut volley off those high ones, which he releases, is, is just something that. <laughs> I've never seen it in another left-hander. Yeah, it's normally with left-handers. You think you just get them returning on the backhand. You, you sort of ha you're half in at least. But um, he's also got a good backhand force. Is he going to serve? Same sort of thing. First game for the server. Yeah, both Hello. players very nervy at this point. That's a half halfway house high surf for Camden compared yeah. to what he's been doing for the rest of the week. Does that give him a chance to find his range? Was that good? Did he? Ridiculous yeah. backhand off the back wall. Seen him do that to us. So strong. Some nervy serves from here, Camden. It's a very short bubble. Oh. Any range in his high serve yet? Just need to pre press the reset button on this set. So. Both hitting a lot of those boosts back across to the backhand side or Cam's forehand side. Turn to serve. That's too deep. Oh. It's just so important to look for the main wall first because it's the one you have least time on. That you have to kind of half cover that. Yeah. It's well up. You read back wall first there. Yeah. Right in the room. Cam's gone for the sort of less cut, more top spinny giraffe. That's a good one. That's a wonderful set. Crap, just out there. Oh. Yeah. Shot. That's you. I'm hoping to evoke a bit of PTSD from the 2018 doing that. Well, it's a lot above the penthouse from Mr. Fay to start with. Yeah, um, it's funny because it's got to be a little sore after last night. I mean, who knows what Rob gets up to in between matches. He must have ice chambers, oxygen tanks, all that kind of stuff. How he comes out the next day at 54 is, is remarkable. Yes. Um, but one thing we can guarantee is that this tennis is going to get a heck of a lot better in about two minutes once yep. they've um, found their feet here. Yeah. Receive Gallery. Shot. Yeah. 
That's very tidy. Not a lot of angle there. Always interested to see how much spin he does put on his railroad. He's having pretty good success with the railroad. So yeah, far. just getting it back to the wall rather than. He's not winning yet, but this Dakota rally will suit him better than I've been long yeah. drawn out. rather than have to finish it off. Put the pressure on Rob to finish it off. Signature shots there is to move inside and hit those uh, penthouse shots on the forehand. Yeah. Not really getting that railroad back to the sideboard, is it? Right, managed it, first three. Yeah, that is. They're hitting quite hard up on the back wall. His giraffe is um, more of a cut giraffe. Well, that's Camden's more of a top spinner. That that giraffe was half the height that Rob wanted on it. Yeah, I'm sure, but he bit the spin he's going. Yeah. So uh, Camden, at the age of 35 this year, suddenly decided it was time to learn how to surf. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's a little harsh. Well, <laughs> his bubble, which he's now serving from right up against the main wall. Far more effective than it has been. Sort of more the sort of 30. rally I'd expect camp be after than Rob. Shot. 
ball's bouncing up quite much. They're quite bouncy. Is it just the way they're heading, do you think? It's Cam Sir, but he'll take fault. Well done. Oh. I will say about Rob that for, for ages people are saying Rob does one of these long rallies. He is fine fitness wise. He keeps going. He's won so many fifth and fourth sets in important matches. It's Yeah, that's true. Got a more attritional style, sure. yes, sir. Shot. His defensive volleys are very good camps, but yeah. that's uh, not finding the length at the moment. Yeah, but um, I think he's got to find when Rob gets on forcing sort of train okay. that defensive volley has got to find Rob's backhand because if he just pops it up onto his forehand he'll just do it again yeah, if he can just get those ideally not to the back wall yeah that was the issue in 2018 he's getting all back but like, just, just yeah. giving him another force yeah get on the backhand bang Rob's making a lot of mistakes. Yeah, honestly, I marked the doubles matches last night. I've seen more unforced errors from Rob in these first three games. I think I saw him three hours yesterday, so it, it'll stop soon. Yeah, I've, my point was going to be that though he is making a lot of mistakes, but it's a style of game that will suit him if he just stops doing that. Despite it all, four love to Cam. Yeah. So you won't be too unhappy. That Bob was really jumping up off the back wall. It's bad balls. Well, the balls are what they are. That's better, I think, for Cam to get that shot. I will play. It's the it's the corners. It's oh so yeah. Impressive. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. When when Camden's serving that bubble well. It goes much higher on the penthouse and yeah. comes down or parallel with the back wall and it's just it's kind of barely reaching halfway up, which is making the options very obvious to Rob. It uh crested where there's a glass back wall. Oh, there's someone in the chat. Uh James Walton. Hey Lucky, how are you? Good to see you back near the action. <laughs> not that near. Not that near, not that but near enough, thank you very much. Um so glass back wall at Preston. Uh sorry, 
um, the ball slides down, and Rob was having yeah. I mean, virtually all over to rip the cut volley away from the back wall rather than have to boast it out. Well, the best bobbles either hit the back wall really low down, full toss, or they land short enough so that they're, they're dropping in the bounce. But that in between length where they hit the floor and hit the back wall on the way up and sit up is toast. Not a good setup. Commanding game from up here. Yeah. There was a patch at the World Championships on day two where Camden is just serving that bobble so well and, and Rob was getting the service side whenever he could, just trying to work out what to serve to Cam. And it's really interesting seeing Rob go through the motions of trying to work out which serve worked best and eventually yeah. he settled on it in the fourth set and managed to fight his way back to win a six and five. What was the seven? And you, you can see Rob going through the same motions here, trying to work it out this court with these balls at this time. First round of anything? Okay. I just don't get this, how much Rob was smiling all the way through that rally. Impressive. Lovely. Oh, That's corner good. of the temple. That's difficult. It's frustrating because Rob had both options <laughs> covered, except for that one. Frames the best yeah. shot. Yeah, there. it's just very hard to read. It just feels like an early skirmish. This I don't feel. And very scrappy. Anything very low or very tidy. Rob's not really putting stuff away. He's starting to work his serve out now, can they? Yes. Thanks, Rob. Well, again, with that giraffe, with that spin, he needs to hit the back wall really low down or hit the floor first. But hit the back wall. Oh. I'll do that. Yeah, that's just lucky though. Oh. Well, you say lucky, but well, it's, like it's, you, you are trying to uh, one bounce back yeah. penthouse actually works pretty well. Yeah. On this court. Back when you were playing, lucky, how many um, giraffes and high serves were served on these courts? I was playing. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Mostly by me, to be fair, but. Mm.
Oh. Oh. Boom. Okay, receiver, five games to one. Chili doesn't seem to be bothering you too much. It's good. That's a good set. I don't think I've ever seen Rob call out where he's going to hit it before. No. Have you seen him point? No, I haven't seen that. <laughs> and then he hit it the other side, but hit the tower and went to where he's pointing. I had nothing to add to that. This is Rob's experimental stage. Well, he's, he's, this set's pretty much gone. That's a good job. Very well played. It doesn't feel like serving's much of an advantage in the rallies here. These guys turn just so phenomenally well. Yeah. I would argue that I don't think Rob's movement has been as good as I've seen it the last week. Um, particularly with taking balls off the back balls, he normally takes a couple of extra steps, little skips. Mm. He's kind of setting early. So I think he might be having a little bit of trouble. That's more the sort of rally I thought that Rob would be afraid of. Yeah, he doesn't like that. And more the sort of rally I thought Cam should be. Yeah, and Cam does a great job of, of moving the ball around like that and, and either making go the other way or have to guess. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Like, it looks like he's mindlessly boasting balls around, but actually he's finding the corners really well with yeah. his shots. And he's so quick himself. If you make it a competition of retrieving he's bound to win. The one I'm talking about, Rob would normally take two skip steps before hitting oh. that. He's just setting it a little early off the back wall compared to what he should do. Oh, love the shot. Mm. I think he did him with the serve then. Landing very deep. That's the one. Get the back wall first. Low down. Okay, I'm sounding repetitive, but Bob would not normally miss that. I think the set's gone, and he knows that I think the, the next three or four games, after, starting with the second. Second set will be the. Well, we find out if this is going to be a 
So yesterday, um, fourth set in the doubles, 4-1, one, 5-1 one down. Um, Rob and Nicky decide they want to concede to chases, get the receiver side and concede a whole game yeah. to start afresh. And, they, and we had this funny situation where there are two chases, they go 30 love down, they just let the ball go. And then Tim tries to serve a hazard, you know, to get back yeah. to receiver side. Yeah. And, you know, obviously you're never going to manage that. Tim's smiling as he does it. But uh, when Tim goes to a serve, he basically just turns his back. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, stop. Yeah. I had to call that because yeah. like, on the off chance, Rob actually just tees off on one. Yeah. <laughs> Set point, second gallery. Oh. Oh. Well, that was a, a ridiculous end to that point. Yeah. Miles all around. Six games to one, second set level. Now I think it gets interesting. He's given up on his railroad. That's not really working for him. He'll come back to it. There we go. really been getting back to the side wall, so. Yeah, it's a tough one. And Stephen, Stephen can turn on that ball. It's so hard to work out if they're going to make the ball post. So hard to come to yeah, to be close to the back wall. Can't be sitting out there. Over the rafters is a fault, isn't it? The Queen's over, uh, through and out, yeah. yeah. Even if it doesn't hit anything. Yeah. Oh, it's very well back. Oh, so is that. Oh. Oh, that's ridiculously good. He just throws himself at that backhand volley, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, he's a midget, so he needs to. But like he just very confident. Yeah. Just gives it everything, whether it's cutting it or hitting it. I think if he doesn't, Rob's all over, and that's the problem. He's had to yeah. learn to generate pace where he can. <coughs> Five foot eight counted. Oh, do you look at the stats, guys. Seven leads, 30 to 15, James Weiss for three. Oh. 40 to 15, worse than a yard. That's a wonderful shot. That's a good
Sure. I have to say, the, um, the range on his bobble is quite wide. Yeah. It's like way over half of the back wall. It's not really controlling that very well. He does get a lot back, Cam, doesn't he? He does. And you called it. Cam managing to control the... It's down to the floor. Much yeah. Back, and eventually brought him the point. Ooh. On the line is... In. We've got a particularly good view from here, too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that came up on the telly, but... Um, Just a delay. start smashing those dead ons off whatever cam serves cam's going to start being a bit nervous uh, but it also set up a couple of dead ons set up the backhand point of the backhand or forehand into cam's forehand corner but he made the error on two or the worst of two he was covering the dead on yeah he needs to establish that he's got him defending the did on first. Yes. He gets a chance though with his shots. Ooh. This is a big point. <laughs> Worse than two. You ought to win it. Go we'll chase the door coming up. And there it is. Get the feeling Cam never feels like he's got anything won against Robert till it's over. Yeah. All right. Well, he's had an easy first set. First game, second set. Come on, Rob. First grill for Rob. This is the moment. sort of serves that. Oh, one corner of the tambour reach. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's quite a thick clip. Yeah, these guys are good enough that they're going to read any full miss or hit. Yeah. It's only the edges that all just went point straight up. Oh, extra bounce. Yep. For those of you who can't quite see, Queens has a wonderful penthouse around the winning gallery, but it's a nice little dip. <laughs> Why haven't you had that fixed? Best question Rob asked me. Oi, oi. Oh. 
funny enough, hit that very dip again and Camden got very lucky with that shot. No. Rob's really moving around this serve at the moment. He's not serving two in a row. Same. That's a good shot. sure that Cam got that one up. Mark are very happy with this call. That's a great rally. Camp for the overhead there. Neither of us was expecting it to go there. Come on, Rob. Carry hunt, no hyphen. He's quite big on that. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Beverly, 40, 30, worse than three. To the session, I need to get my glasses on to read the chats. On a personal note, that's very disappointing. Can you increase the font size? Um, yeah. You know, we'll shout out again as we do every night with Ben Gakenbeek. He's done amazing streaming analysis. He's doing everything out there changing the cameras, scores in, controlling us. Oh, that's two points in a row from Deuce, but he's lost the 30 all. Love that. And we got that first cut shot. Look down to work out if it would have won it from. Yeah. we got time to do that. Slots that in and the miss still causes trouble, right? So it's well, that hard. It's the pace, isn't it? At that pace, once it's below the penthouse, it's trouble. He can do that all day. Cam's got to find a better way of serving using it. Just left of town. That's a good serve. Oh, oh. another edge of tambor. That's impossible.
not many shots dying in the corner. Probably missing the main wall forces yeah. is much easier for Captain to control that van. Shot. Oh. He's got wonderful disguise. In yeah, him. that was. Just takes that ball quite early and slots it down. Well, when he's got the main wall dead on as well, it's hard. You can't cover both. Too too deep. Yeah. I'm certainly facing a barrage. Well, that. Yeah, but he's not really. He hasn't found a serve, I don't think. No. Well, maybe it was just a brief blip at the World Championship. <laughs> Yep. I think we're going to see a lot more rallies, Elliot, than we have been so far. Service advantage. Chase a yard worse than last gallery. Um, we'll see Rob taking a lot more breaths. Boom. He's going to win. I think Rob's <coughs> finding serve to Camden and Camden's not finding serve for Rob. So I believe during the World Championships in 2018, the percentages for point winning were so near 50% service to receive a side. Yeah. You're going to have patches where they're going to be more comfortable with the receiver side. They're not finding range. <laughs> At this level, it's about. It's hard, but if you can find a way to make the service end go in your favour, which is mostly about learning, being able to serve to him. The big problem with Rob over the years has been he's so hard to serve to him. Yeah. The basic plan is get up the serve again and you're in the right place and bloody bloody blah, but he's just impossible. can be impossible to serve to. And if Cameron doesn't crack that problem, he'll struggle for sure, even though he's sort of hot favourite to win. Yeah. It's funny, you know, that, that has his second. Normally I'd expect Rob to hit the win. Serve, good return, good volley. Yep, good rally. Yeah, 
as the game goes on, Cam's high serves are less effective, not more effective. Three games one. Cam's hands are usually a bit better than that. He would not expect to make that mistake. Paul wasn't traveling that time. Oh. Yeah, but Rob's are stuck under any pressure on returns ever at all. Just getting a free swing at nearly every serve. It'll be an interesting contrast to see how Camden's handling Rob served now. Yeah. I mean, this is one of the differences. It's talking about Rob trying to find a serve that worked against Cam. Cam's serving is either working or it's not working. He doesn't tend to have a plan B if the serves aren't working, right? He just yeah. tries to work, get his serves to work better. Whereas Rob's like, well, that's not working. I'm going to try this, you know, to try to reach into the bag, you know. Whereas Cam's just got these serves that he's quite good at, but if he can't do them, doesn't have many option beats. Well, he can cycle through his repertoire, though. Rob's got this cut high serve now that he thinks is getting nice. Oh, so for those of you wondering. There's a gentleman's rule that you don't smash the ball down the line when you're in the Jasons, which has basically been adhered to. than it was. I was guess. It's a good serve from Rob. Yeah, was it was. I think Rob's serving is yeah. Camp's struggling for domination with return to serve. Too good dead on them. Bit short that one. It's better. Shot. Really good shot. Yeah, I mean, if you can hit that same ball straight force and then do that great cut volley cross court off, off a high ball. That was a pretty tight serve from Rob as well. It yeah, it was, they're both good. It's so impressive to get the ball on that pace from that far back. Both of them do that so well. The change there from Rob, I think he's, um, he's been changing around. Not serving two in a row the same. He just served three in a row the same. Yeah. And even though they were good serves, they the sighter. It was... Oh dear, too big. Well played. There's always a balance with that serving thing. If you can handle the option on your serve, then you put pressure on them. You can serve the same thing all the time. But if you can't handle the option, it's a so.
So. A few grills for a game where the ball's flying about and sitting up quite well. Comes down to their coverage as well. Bang. Oh, that's ridiculous. Shot. Oh. That was on the wrong end of this, and he's come right back into it. That was swift, wasn't it? Yeah, last two games, almost, almost against the run of play, I thought. Seen sidewall neck there. Kind of rolled. Too big. Oh. It's picked a bad time to have a slack moment. It's picked it robs us with the set. I don't I can't see a okay, back from 10 all down, can you? I'm just never gonna say that. Washington, that would have been as the door. <laughs> if you're aware that they got the tambo wrong at Washington, I think. No, I didn't catch up with it. 37 degree tambo was made 53 because they did it. That's did ridiculous. It. Uh -oh. Otherwise, an amazing call. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, some alterations to be done. 30 all. <laughs> the range of tamper angles apart from Washington. Not the full range, no. The penthouses are better on it's meant to be thirty seven degrees the town. I'm sure Oxford is no. One here. It's well up. When you give Rob a loose ball like that, you've got to cover main wall or everything else, and uh, he went for main wall. Yes. Something else. <laughs> so. If you cast your mind back to 2018 again in day three when Camden had lost so heavily in day two, he came out and won the first two sets of day three serving a sidewall railroad that came just past the white line. Yeah. Just Rob to hit a bunch of half volleys. We might, we might see Camden try and revisit that. Probably he served it for four sets in a row and Rob got used to it. Sure. 
Oh, well up. Oh. Game to receive up. Four games to three. Three, one to three, four. Sloppy boast in the middle of that. Yeah, I want that. Two bad shots, one each, I thought. It's quite untidy, but it's a very high pace. Be easy. Oh, Gordon Woodman. Bob knows that the longer it goes on dead on grills, the game he has to play. Many thanks. Oh. I think he means Bob needs to his targets better, which I would agree with. Yeah. That last grill he missed is pretty unusual for him. best yeah because that's a game he can win cam would like it to be a game of get this back in cover up the targets cam's gonna have to serve tighter than this or maybe not Right. Yeah, it's pretty irritating to play against the guy. He goes the wrong way and still gets it. about that way for work to go. Can't rally shots from the hazard end. Just stop looking. I mean, it's slightly unusual how many horses Rob's missing, actually. Again, cast your mind back four years. It wasn't just that he hit it bloody hard. Oh, is that it was true? The, it was just the percentages were nuts. It was like every, you just expected it to go in, and he's hit a few more penthouses than you'd expect. So let's hope he tunes 15, up. 15, 40. Worse than five. If Cam had looked up on that point, he had an open court. He just calmly hit it straight to him. Big point. <laughs> Especially Cam had this on his racket. So, I mean, this rivalry seems going on so long, but these two played uh, rackets and real tennis, I think, in Chicago in some kind of exhibition uh, not that long okay. ago. 
And Cam just said they had a world and had so much fun playing rackets together. And Cam said to Rob, why, why can't it always be like this? Why can't we just enjoy us? You know, yeah. it's like, because they, they, they really, really enjoyed it. Uh, as opposed to being... I think we all know why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they have great fun playing golf together as well. But only one of them is going to enjoy it when they play real tennis. That's it. Quite a rare mystery from Rob then. He's looking quite intent at the moment, Rob. It's a really important part of the match. Ooh, that was a bit of a tame finish, wasn't it? It was, and again, you just normally expect a couple more yeah. skips from Rob before he hit that ball. He was just too happy to let it come onto it. 3 1 to 3 5. That's a better set. That one that hit the back wall low down just doesn't, doesn't set up. It's too big. It's a great volley, but I mean, that's, that's fantastic. It's an unusual start from Bob. It's the drift close to the middle of the court. I assume he's going for the main ball, but miscued that. And the penultimate point when he had the winning gallery is actually trying to hit an effective skid post from that far around the court. It's difficult. That's a good surf. Yeah. yeah, just drifted back in. Interesting decision from Rob to, to boast that ball. I mean, it's been having pretty good traction going for the dead arm. Yeah. And his percentage is whilst not as good as they have been, he's still, you know, Camp's been missing the ones that go low. So as long as they don't mm -hmm. go high, Rob's still. Um, Camp's bobble's been better this game. Yeah. Last couple well, of games. that last one was pretty no. high on the back wall, though. Rob had a lot of yeah. options. Went for the boast. But if he's served three or four good ones, if their one sits up, it's harder to put away than they're all sitting up. There's not many people out there who don't want another set, at least on top of these last. I can think of at least one. Yeah, well, yeah, that. <laughs> Well, I have to say, in the middle of that set, when he was three and up, I thought he'd really sort of gone a long way towards solving the problem of serving to Cam, and now he's... He's looking very sluggish now. Yes. Good shot. Yeah, but can't forget the player that Cam is, and those last two high sets from Apple are woefully short. Cam's just able to 
rip this a cut volley some yeah. extra like that, that giving them the extra meat and a half up the court to attack oh that makes all the difference Brutal. step in Oh. Just for um just for his aiming, I'm sure he'd tell us. Good as. It's starting to look a bit one sided suddenly, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's a good cut body from Rob, but can't get that back. about the time I thought that Rob might win this. It's been one one way traffic. It's interesting if I was choosing to base the return when he has all the options again. He lost a bit of faith in the straight boards. Oh that was an interesting choice. This is trying to cover the I think he covered the girl. Like clip the timber so he's trying to intercept it before he ends me. Good surf. That's where you want your bobble to go. Yep, perfect. It's not just a good bobble. Cam's moving to any point on the court that he knows Rob can hit it to so early when he gets it right. Uh, it's well played. It's starting to go a bit quickly now. And all the way. Yep. It's worth mentioning again that you know they both played their double semis yesterday and Rob had a three and a quarter round match and Cam had a straight set pretty swift victory. <laughs> Interesting. He's just straight up stop forcing the return. Right? Yeah. Well his Two out of three bobbles are a lot better than that. That one wasn't obviously. He's got that's gonna sit up. But yeah. He absolutely has. And I don't feel like that's a game he's gonna win as discussed. No, but he knows this is an active decision. He would always force yeah. about eighty percent of the balls he hasn't really forcing against Cam. So he's, he's something out. 
It's not feeling it. That's a good serve. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's the force was basically got what got him three one up. Yeah. Turning serve and serving tight. And uh, and I feel that. like that's the only game he'll win. Yeah. Is that sort of forcing targets competition, not this rally maneuvering competition. David Hay. David Hay. Nice to hear your dulcet tones of love. It's so great to hear all these people still alive. Well, speaking of dulcet tones, my dulcet tones are nothing to David Hayes. <laughs> Oh, Chuck. David and his band played at my 50th birthday. Yeah. I said. What happens when you hit a ball through a net? Yes, I it's think already that. Hit the net. Oh, what? Yes, once it hits the net, it's yes, dead. It's net, yeah. yeah. You can't, the net but you can't. Play it off the net, can you? No. Shot. Well up. Not play. Oh. say it's all looking at be the cam now does that mean it'll suddenly get close Same. probably yep hello It's just it's just another example of a grill that I would I would put my name Rob to win get eight out of ten from that position. I feel that there's something not quite working in there. Not to take this away from Cam, who's being solid as anything right now, but Rob all week has been firing those in. Surprisingly few grills are winning galleries. Oh, that's so well up. That was excellent from both sides. <laughs> It's like we rubbed hit back for the first of that shot. Oh. Yeah, it's really getting it served so better now. Forcing in a minute. Yeah, we said last chance to learn now, isn't it? He's not putting any pressure on him. Oh, got with his backhand. Yeah. Oh, Cam's had to play a lot of. Light balls up against the yeah, but he's hardly hit a winner with his backhand. So if Cam can get his bobble in and good and get his return and serve back down to the backhand, he's... But now he's sort of in charge of the rally. And 
game. Another edge. Yeah. The mess Rob can manufacture an opening on his forehand. I don't see him. Yeah, he's only he he get occasional winners. Good serve again. Keep this. Oh, that's ridiculous. Well. Mm -hmm. That was an extraordinary get by Cam, by the way. I think that two had been stored up for about half an hour. Yeah. Yes, there's been much to cheer for the supporters of Faye. You'll notice Cam's bobble is now going much, much higher up the pendants in general, yeah. often flirting with the, with the side wall. He started out as barely reaching up. I mean, Rob, Rob's finally decided to go back to the A plan, right? Yeah. Be interesting to see if the bobble stands up to if he starts forcing it. Well. That's a good shot. Yes, he's gone back to force again. Yeah, absolutely. And and sure enough, you know, almost seizes control straight away. I mean, it's uh, it's something he did in the World Championships and phases. Yeah. And when he did it, he was winning. And you got to assume that there was a, a small issue. Like he, 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 Rob knows what he's doing. He knows that it works. And he left alone for a surprising amount of time. Also, you start smacking it, Cam's bubble's going to tighten up and he's going to over hit them again. Ooh. Yeah, when Rob missed that railroad, he's really got to go for a great serve against Cam. He can just slot any gallery. Yeah. So it's kind of understandable when a couple of guys are back in the house. Ah, yes, ish. It's a fairly basic skill. That's been nice. Uh, so yeah, last time Rob managed to hit second gallery, We're trying to be this chase when aiming for the last. Here we go. Not the shot. Beginning to come back. Well, the last knockings of a great career. Yep. 
always been one of the impressive things about Rob is Father Eternus hurt, but you can get that extra bounce against him and he just leans his arm back and still manages to yeah. get the strings on it. Yeah. Just doesn't make too many errors with it. I haven't had any trouble putting this to bed. Yeah, he got the gyps a number of times in the World Championships. So yeah, as he doesn't know, love struggles to beat Rob sometimes. That was an uh, interesting place. Yeah, and, and it's a kind of slight panic yeah. moment again. Yeah. Taking it down the wall, he's got such good footwork, he could win. He's gone away from his bubble. See? He's gone away from the bubble. Probably remember there's a hole at the back of the court as well. Which is good. So, four love, wasn't it? It was four love, yeah. 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 It's so hard when you prepare yourself to, for the ball to be butchered at you and someone chips one into the corner. It's it's so hard to kind of mentally prepare yourself for both. So, I mean, typically the top players, you guys have to, um, you're looking for the volley first, right? So when you've got the least amount of time on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Equally, that ball going straight into the corner, you've got very little time on as well. And yet the, you have to prepare so different. Cam just hoping Rob will lose now. Yeah. Please lose. Steadfastly refusing to hit the grill still. <laughs> Makes you wonder. I mean, um, I think, I mean, Ben's got the stats and probably flash up, but I think Rob's only had three grills. And that's kind of unheard of for Rob. Yeah. It's, it's been a magnet for him. Oh, here we go. Good lad. Two. 
altogether. Two grills this match. That's not the set, that's the whole match. And that's just ferociously unusual for us. Yes. Cam's a great defender of the grill, but a bunch of edges. Good serve from Cam. He bounced. Big point. Oh, good serve. Oh, extraordinary choice. How did you just uh, sit back and put that in the hazard galleries? It was a hazard, I think. They were playing. They were playing hazard worse than sick. Oh, ring head. Yeah, serious thing. Oh, a couple of them. It's quite good, isn't it? Oh. Getting snatchy. Shot. Oh. That's a nervy sir. Really nervy serve from Cameron. Yep. Don't look. Oh, well. It's a new one. I've done a couple of those before. Those of you wondering what Rob's doing, Rob has a terrible issue towards the end of any given tournament. His toenails start to tear off, which is a horrible condition to have. And uh, he's probably pressing down to keep them in. Oh. Yeah, it's nasty. This is definitely coming out of the heading of too much information. Yeah, so. <laughs> In history, Cam does not want to go to six five setting against Rob. No, that's for sure. Well, he was get this one, he's fallen off up. Move one down for a second, won nine games in a row. It's great maths. It's the crew. 
career that will never end. He's going to do his shoelaces at the match point, isn't he? Yeah. Shot. So as a result of this British Open, we have now got four contenders for the uh, challenge against Camden next year. Oh, who are they? In order. Ooh, in order. I'll tell you when the change ends. <laughs> Stay tuned. Oh, that's a great volley. I mean, Cam's defensive volley is unbelievable, but Rob's forehand force is too big. Yeah. Five all. Yeah. Where's your money? Well, Rob doesn't win six four sets against Cam. No. Rob. Rob prefers to win 6-5 over 6-4. Cute shot for Rob to play on that point. I thought he's just shoveled it up there. I thought it was safe from Cam, actually. I don't think I'll be gentle here. Ooh. Ooh. He got there as well. Back. Big miss from there. Yeah. Oh, and the return of serve. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. Very quick. Two career points. Thing. Yeah. It is now. <laughs> I mean, just just to appreciate what just happened. That was a great volume of tennis serve, but Cam missed that by a foot. Yeah. That is match point tightness, if yes. I've ever seen it. Like a foot. Well, this game has been easy for him. Yeah. He has yeah. He's got really lucky, but Rob. Yeah. Gave him a couple of points yeah, exactly. instead of made him work for them. But yeah. that's how that is how Rob's been winning, so he can't really change. Oh, I'm not saying I bet he's just it's just happened. Yeah. Oh, and there it is. The end of an era. Oh, that's nice. Oh, a little cuddle. Of the greatest pole in the history of our game. Yeah.
The applause is usually for the winner, but not so much this time. Yeah. And don't, don't ever forget how good Rob was, guys. Sir? Don't ever forget how good Rob was. Yeah. People are going to be wondering about that in 20 years' time. No, he was just that good. Oh, here we go. I would forgive him for destroying my court with that right now. Yeah, yeah, Rob, definitely the greatest player the world has ever seen. Yep. Oh, that's a nice gesture. And he's going to be back here next year playing the doubles. So we're going to see more of him, but he's officially retired from singles at the end of this year. He might sneak a couple of National, National League matches yeah. out of him, those people around the country. Might even catch a glimpse of the secret silver racket. Oh. And if any sponsor wants to come out and give us a load of money, I'm sure he can coax him back, but, you know... Yeah. One can dream. Oh, I think that. Great match. <laughs> right, we'll leave you to the ceremony. Thanks, Lucky. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, and good night. Well, thank you to all who are still watching. My name is Ben Gatenbeek. I've been sat up here in the control room uh, all week. Um, many people have come up to me over the course of the week and thanked me for the work I've been doing, but I want to send out a big thank you to all of you who have been watching on the stream. Uh, it's been fabulous seeing your comments come in and watching, watching the numbers come in uh, of all of you who are enthusiastic about our game of real tennis. Um, there's going to be a presentation on court for the winner uh, and a special presentation for Rob Fay. Um, so please do stay tuned for that. Um, but in the meantime, um, do get in in the comments. Uh, leave your, your tributes to Rob or your, your anecdotes about Rob and let us know where you've been watching from. Uh, it would be nice to, to hear from you while we wait for the presentations and for the crowds to uh, file uh, onto the court. 
So yeah, do, do let us know where you've been watching from and what you thought of the match uh, and any tributes you have uh, to Rob and his wonderful career. And also to Cam, who, let's not forget, is, is our champion tonight. Uh, so uh, yeah, do, 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 do get in touch. Uh, I think we're getting most of the, players, uh, the uh, spectators uh, on the court here now. Um, of course, thank you to our sponsors this week, uh, Sir John, uh, Sir John Riplat, uh, who's been the primary uh, naming rights sponsor uh, to the to Herminius uh, for their wonderful support. They've turned out in, in a big crowd here um, in the members' bar tonight, and of course to Paul Roger uh, as their uh, consistent support of, of real tennis at both professional and amateur level. Um, over the years in, here in the UK. Uh, so, um, we've got Tom Carew Hunt uh, asking me if I'll be streaming my round the world court visits. Um, I, I have been to a lot of courts around the world. I have not streamed it, but uh, if you. Um, uh, I, don't, I think I've only got like four courts yet to visit, so I've not, I've not been streaming that, but I, I will be popping up around the country. Uh, in here in the UK for another couple of things um, over the course of the next 12 months and of course looking forward to uh, the next British Open in another 12 months time. Um, so we do have what well, I can gather to be most of the people on the court now. Uh, there are quite a few here uh, in person. I uh, had a sellout crowd um, a bit of a kerfuffle because they sold too many tickets to the side gallery, so some people got some surprise upgrades uh, into the dead on. Um. Getting getting a wave up from from uh, Andrew Lyons uh, and, and, and Nick Jones, uh, waving. I'm not sure if they're waving at, waving at me or waving to uh, to uh, all, all of you out there on the stream. Um. But again, we've got a um, fabulous, fabulous crowd here tonight. Uh, and thank, thank you also to the, the girls from the Tin RA office, uh, Jemima, Canberra and Carolina for all the work that they've been doing uh, this week, a lot of that goes behind the scenes, uh, 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 you know, unsaid, but uh, and as well as to, to Jess Garside, who has been absolutely fantastic, um, uh, arranging all of, all of the um, uh, all of the, the guests uh, and to all of the people who have been been stewarding uh, over the course of the week. Uh, it's been fantastic to have you all on the event. Wouldn't run uh, without you. I'm sure there'll be some more. Thank you. So once we get to the presentation itself, um, uh, we'll just test.
better? like to sow 560 bulls, but that I think is the number of bulls that Ben Ronaldson has sown for this tournament on his own because he wanted to get the standard just right. That's quite an achievement, Ben. So thank you to the Queen's Club head pro, Ben Ronaldson, the other pros, Bryn Sayers and Neil McKenzie, for all the hard work you've done over the last few months sowing bulls commentating, organising the markers, etc, etc. Thank you very much. <laughs> and whilst we're talking about markers, thank you Drew Lyons for marking tonight and many other matches over the last 10 days and to all the other pros and others who've marked games. So thank you Drew. Some of you may have seen some of the games being streamed, and I think you'll agree that this year the streaming has been a cut above last year and indeed previous years. That is down to Ben Gatingbeck, who's probably up there from Cambridge, who has single-handedly improved the scoreboard. <laughs> Ben has pretty much seen every single match and streamed everyone and basically been at the club for the last 10 days non-stop, non so well done Ben. 
Finally, I could go on all night thanking people, but this last thank you. Thank you to Alex and Jess Garside and the TRA team of Jemima, Canberra and Cariolina for all your hard work in stewarding, ticket sales, organising the volunteers, etc, etc. So thank you to all and thank you to all the volunteers. We've got a decent chairman, haven't we? Very articulate. And um, I... Right, so can we start without further ado? But I just want to say, without the players, we've got to thank the players. It would be nothing. I thought, Camden, Rob, as good as we've ever seen. <coughs> and we've seen a lot. At my age, believe me, you've seen a lot. So what a lovely match. Floor game overhead, you name it. So it was so exciting and thank you. What an effort. Tremendous. <laughs> now, can I, can I just say also, the ubiquitous and the wretched Davis there, Chris, he's the real eminence greens. He's the power behind the plane. We all jump to attention when he shouts but Chris you do a huge job and we're very appreciative and uh, without your marshalling and keeping me in order I don't think it would be the same at all so thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> Would you tell me what to do next now? <laughs> we have a bottle of champagne for the marker. Do I need this to do that? Um, no, not at all. Who have we got now? We've got Rob. <laughs> Who? Let's run up Rob Fay. Come on, Rob. <laughs> And the winner, Camden Riviera. I'm going to speak first tonight, if that's all right, um, because as exciting as it is to, uh, to have won tonight, uh, it's also a little, little sad. Uh, I think even I, even I wanted to lose today, and it's not often I go into an open final not actively wanting to, to crush someone. Um, but I want to say thank you. Thank you to everybody that came out. Um, thank you to everybody back home, everybody back home for, for watching. Big thank you to, um, to the hosts, especially Nancy and Harry, for putting me up this week. Um, it's been it's been a pleasure to be here. For those of you who don't know, I'm getting married in like just under two weeks, and so coming here was a uh, a bit of a risk. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, but it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you to all the sponsors, and then just finally, Rob, I said it to you at the net. It's it really has been an honor, man. It's uh it's been such a, a great run. I, I don't know if you know this, you became world champion when I was about seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that you're still here today, battling it out, and, uh, and you know, obviously at the top of the world at, at this point is just incredible. And uh, you've been an idol of mine coming through. It's been a, something I always strive to, to be on court with you. And uh, I thought it was going to be at World Champs, but to be able to share 
kind of this last match with you is, uh, just really means the world to me. So thank you, man. I did tell Cam a couple of months ago that the whole point of him becoming world champion was so I didn't have to do this anymore. <laughs> um, but thanks for the mic. Um, I don't really want to say too much if I'm honest. Like, probably, it's probably going to be a bit hard. So I want to I want to thank one group in particular. 1986 Hobart Committee, because they chose me. So here I am, all this time later, still thanking them every day. Uh, I told you I didn't want to say too much. <clears throat> of course, my beautiful wife, who's kept me going for so much longer than I probably ought to have. <laughs> uh, it's very easy for Camden to be uh, complimentary because he's been handing me my ass for the last 10 years. <clears throat> uh, but I've, I've appreciated the last 10 years. You've really kept me going. And uh, to, to all the great champions I've played over the years, you're all amazing. A few of you here tonight, Tim, Lockie. Uh, there's probably some really obvious ones I'm leaving out there. I don't know. Uh, but just, just uh, I've had so much fun, and you know the privilege has been all mine. Thanks, Cam. Thanks, Rob. You're all invited to a drinks reception in the President's Room, which starts fairly soon, as I was left holding the mic. Thank you very much. Well, thank you once again for joining us over the course of the week. Fantastic words said by, by Cam Rob. I would like to once again uh, echo all the congratulations that have already said. Uh, and thank you all uh, for watching. Um, we will see you again uh, next year uh, back here at Queen's for the 2023 British Open. Uh, in the meantime, we've got uh, a world cycle to get through. Um, and all of the usual opens uh, all around the world. Um, so I'll, I'll leave you tonight just with some, some final shots of the players. Uh, once again, thank you for tuning in wherever you've been watching around the world. Uh, and a good night.
Do also join us for the doubles final tomorrow. Uh, that will start at 6 p.m. Six p.m. Uh, British time. Uh, that match will be played between John Lumley and Candy Riviere uh, against Tim Chisholm and Bryn Sayers. It should be an absolute cracker. Tim and Bryn undefeated um, as a pairing. Uh, and John and Cam, you know, you know the pedigree that they they have. So do join us tomorrow night. Otherwise, bye from all of us here at Queen's Club. <laughs>